What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to today's episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed, the series where I cover all of the jumps, spots, lines of sight, as well as dynamic map elements that I know of on every map in Call of Duty Ghosts. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the first of the Nemesis DLC maps, and that is Showtime. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so a lot of you Call of Duty 4 veterans anyways will know that this map is actually sort of a remake of uh, Shipment from Call of Duty 4. But they did make a big change to it and that is they added a playable area all the way around the normal Shipment map. So Shipment used to just be the square that you can see right now. But now there's all of the playable area around the square and I kind of like it. I was kind of hoping for just a straight up remake of Shipment but this isn't too bad either. I kind of like it adds a little bit more freedom and... and uh, movement and I don't know just a place to escape the action which is kind of nice on this map for this episode for you guys it's not going to be a very long episode not going to be a very big episode because there are very few things that you can actually jump on top of and there are very few lines of sight and a lot of the little cracks and stuff have been blocked off as you can see there there used to be a crack there and there that you could look through as far as I remember from the Call of Duty 4 map but let's get into the very first and very most important spot that I can show you, and that is a wall bang spot. This is probably the best thing that I could show you. I don't know why I'm not saving until last. Normally I do, but uh, for this one, we'll start it off with the best one. So, great capture spot for the B flag is right here. Pretty much everyone will have found this out by now. It's pretty simple, and it is a great place to capture the B flag from. But, keep in mind, these crates right here, you can shoot through very easily. So, the most common place to be shooting them from, you'll be spawning at the A flag, let's say. The best place to kill those guys is if you're standing right around this area right next to this wall here is just aim for the right side of the O. If you shoot through there you're going to hit them every single time and you'll absolutely destroy them. If they're laying down you might have to aim a little bit lower but for the most part if you just aim on the right side of this O on the box you're going to get a headshot or you'll just get upper body shots and you'll have a kill very quickly. You lose very little bullet damage through this. Same goes for this guy right here you can shoot through this if you think someone's camping inside there. And also this guy right over here. You can shoot through both sides of this. So if someone's camping in here, you can just spray through and get a really easy kill on them. Now moving on, there's the podium right here. You can actually jump right up on top of first place. And you can kind of get a line of sight over to the second story area right over there. And that's a brand new area on this map. And you could jump and maybe see somebody there. But it's really all not, not all that practical. Only reason I would ever come up here is to counter somebody that may be sniping up in there. And if they're going on a streak or something, I might get a sniper rifle or LMG out. Hop up here, get my quick kill, and then move on from there. Similarly, there's this spot right here. This one, you can see a little bit more of the map. So you can kind of see a little over here. You can see over towards that doorway there, which is really important to know. And once again, you can see across there. But you're also vulnerable to people that are across there in the uh, broadcast booth there. So this is once again a spot more just to look out for people that may be camping here. It would be a very common camping spot, so they'll just sit up here. It's really easy to just flank them though, so if you just come around that corner, you'll pick them off just about every single time. Now next up, just something I thought I would point out really quick that you might not notice at first glance, this ladder right here. I know to a lot of you that's going to seem very obvious, but to some people you might not have caught that if you're just playing this map and you never really uh, walked around and had a good look at it. Also, from on top of these stairs, instead of going in here and exposing yourself to a lot of the map, you get a few nice lines of sight, and snipers like to sit up here, or LMG user users. I like to come out on the stairs, and you still get a really nice line of sight on this half of the map here, so if the enemies are spawning at the A flag, this is a great way to pick them off as they come into the open. Just be aware they will be coming around this corner at some point, and you might have to battle them there, or you might want to put an IED down. I know I hate IEDs just as much as the next guy, but if that's how you're playing... Uh, that would be a good spot to cover your cover your front because they could come up on you and kill you before you have time to adjust down. Now over by the C flag, I just wanted to point out that you cannot shoot through this glass. You will do absolutely no damage with your bullets through this glass. So if you want to sit here and just watch for enemies, you can do that all you want. They can't shoot you. They can obviously see you, but they won't be able to shoot you through that glass. That's just one thing that kind of stood out to me because I thought I could shoot through here and it actually got me killed one time because I unloaded like all of my ammo trying to kill a guy and by the time I had emptied my magazine he just walked around the corner and killed me so kind of a stupid mistake but I learned from it and unfortunately there's only one more spot to show you guys that I could find on this map there really aren't many spots and that is this spot right here if you want to defend the C flag or if you know enemies are going to be coming through that doorway if you sit right here you'll be able to pick them off right through that gap really really easily and 
it may not look like a great spot from sitting there, but as you come around this corner, look what he sees. Your head is going to be right in that crack there. You're going to be very, very hard for him to see. There's a little bit of smoke there, and you're kind of in a dark corner. So you'll win that gunfight almost every single time against people coming around this corner. And also, on the other end of that, if you are rushing around this corner, keep an eye out for that area. And you can use this glass to your advantage since they can't shoot through it. Push up to the glass, check that spot, have a good look, make sure nobody's there, and then come around the corner. So, that's all I have for this map. I know it wasn't a whole lot of spots, but that's just the way the maps are designed. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.